Hey everyone, today we're going to discuss the five simple rules for simple mechanical advantage systems. These rules have been around for centuries and are still used today and trusted by many. So let's get started. The first rule is that any system that is tied off at the anchor is going to have an even mechanical advantage. So for example, a two to one or a four to one or a six to one. Um, here we have a two to one system and you can see it is tied off at the anchor. The second rule is that any system tied off at the load, such as this one, is going to have an odd number, such as a three to one, a five to one, or a nine to one. The third rule is that the last pulley at the anchor of any system where you have it going out to the hauler is considered a change of direction pulley. And in other words, its purpose is just to change the direction from going, in this case, going up to going down towards me, which is really convenient because it makes hauling much easier. Um, a change of direction pulley offers no mechanical advantage, so it doesn't help increase the mechanical advantage of the system. It is simply, like I just said, a helpful tool for the hauler. And another way to look at it is when you're looking at the system, you have this strand coming to you and you are considered an anchor system. You are considered an anchor as a hauler. And so this up here, also an anchor. And then down here, we have the load. So any strand that goes from an anchor to an anchor doesn't get counted when you assess the mechanical advantage. Rule four is that mechanical advantage can be calculated by adding the pulleys, but of course you want to omit the change of direction pulley in the pulleys that you add up. And then once you've added up the pulleys, you add one and then you have the value. So in this case, we're not gonna count this pulley here, but we're gonna count one, two. So two plus one, because you have to add one, is going to be now a three to one mechanical advantage. So this is a three to one system. Another way that you can calculate it is by counting the strands that connect the anchor to the load. So in this case, we have one, two, three, and then, like I just discussed, this is going from an anchor to an anchor. So this does not get counted. So one, two, three, three to one system. So here we have a simple two to one, and it's connected to this five to one. Now, how do I know that this is a five to one? Well, because it's connected or tied off at the load, so I know it's gonna be an uneven number, and I can count the amount of pulleys, and there's a double sheave here, pulley, so that's two. Another double sheave pulley here, that's another two, so, then two plus two, then the rule is you add one, so five to one. Another way that I can count this is by adding up all the strands that go from the anchor um, to the load. So we have one, two, three, four, and then you have this strand here so that's five, because this is coming up to me, I'm an anchor, 
So let's say you're using this five to one, but you need more power, you need more lift. Um, the fifth rule states that adding two simple mechanical advantage systems creates a compound system. So in this case, we have a five to one and a two to one. They compound to create a 10 to one. So two times five. And although this will make it 10 times easier to lift up the load, the trade-off is you'll need to pull up 10 feet on this rope just to lift this up one foot. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. This was just a quick overview of some very important rules involving pulley systems and mechanical advantage. Check out my uh, channel for all kinds of other videos, climbing related. Uh, I have knot tutorials, hitch tutorials, anything you can think of. I think you'll like it. Bye.